Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and we have in front of us the Leico Le Pro 3, which may be the most underrated budget smartphone of 2016. For $399, you get a heck of a lot of smartphone. The company also had an early bird special that actually brought the price of the phone down to $299 with Le Rewards. Hopefully, some of you were able to take advantage of that before it expired. Leico is trying to make a good first impressions with the Leico Le Pro 3 as it's the first smartphone of theirs to launch in the United States. In terms of specifications, the Pro 3 features a 5.5 inch FHD display, Snapdragon 821 processor with four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage. There's a 4,070 milliamp hour battery, stereo speakers, Android 6.0 Marshmallow and a metallic build construction to keep everything feeling premium. Inside the box, we'll find a lot of goodies as well. We'll find the phone sitting right on top, which I'm gonna set off to the side for now. We'll see a pair of earphones that are very, very similar to Apple's earpods based off, you know, first impressions. This is my first look at these pods. They look nearly identical. And there is a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter. Why you ask? Because there's no headphone jack in the smartphone, unfortunately. That's just what manufacturers are doing nowadays. They're getting rid of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. There is a USB wall wart with quick charging and a USB to USB type C cable. We also have a pamphlet with some documentation and a SIM card removal tool. Nothing too exciting here, but what is exciting to see is a protective case included right here in the box. It doesn't look to be made of any seriously high quality materials, but it's nice to see right here in the box. It's free. Now we can take the plastic clothing off of the Pro 3 to further examine the build of the device. It appears to be very upper class, featuring an aluminum casing and Corning Gorilla Glass touchscreen and measuring in at just 7.53 millimeters thick, that includes a massive 4,070 milliamp hour battery, a huge selling point that has people talking. The phone really feels comfortable in the hands, not too thick, not too bulky. The polished metal on the rear also is a nice texture on the fingertips. A little bit slimy, but not too bad. There is an IR blaster on the top of the phone, which is a feature that you don't really see in a lot of smartphones nowadays, even in flagships. It was popular a couple years ago, but for whatever reason, it didn't stick. However, I personally love to see this here. There is a rear-facing fingerprint scanner with a very glassy reflective coating on it, and it works pretty darn well, but I can tell you right away that it's not the absolute fastest on the market. Still, not too bad, it's nice to see. And with that comes the display, and it's a very large display. It's a 5.5 inch 1080p LCD panel with a 403 pixel per inch index. It's very bright, has pretty darn good viewing angles, and colors look to be on the saturated end of the spectrum, but not as vibrant as Samsung smartphones. I hope that paints a visual image for you, but it's important to note that you can adjust the color mode in the settings. So if you do like a vivid panel, similar to Samsung phones, you can select the vivid mode. Okay, by far the most bizarre area of this smartphone is the software. The Pro 3 is running Leico EUI built on top of Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. And you'll see that software is very media heavy. So there's a left panel like Google Now that has a bunch of news, which you can customize a bit. You can disable it if you don't like this panel though, I will add. There's also a live button that brings up a bunch of media, movies, lifestyle, TV shows, entertainment, and sports channels. The thing is, none of these shows, none of the content really appears to be very familiar to me. Variety and Cosmopolitan and Hollywood Life certainly ring a bell, but there's some very obscure channels like Kidoodle TV, Warriors and Gangsters, Whistle Sports. Maybe I need to get out more, but this live section doesn't really appeal to me too much. Maybe it will to you. The phone is certainly very media heavy with these features and with the IR blaster. The notification tray is very heavily skinned. All of the quick settings and stuff appear under the overview tray. It's a bit odd how they split up these settings, but it is what it is. The good thing is that you can slap on a launcher of your choice if you don't like the Le View panel or would like an app drawer. So I mentioned the phone has four gigabytes of RAM and there is a Snapdragon 821 processor. Uh, the Google Pixel for reference has the same processor and that is a high-end smartphone. That's costs like twice as much as this smartphone. In my testing, I found the phone to perform well. I didn't see any major stutters or hiccups or lag. The custom skin is very heavy, but it doesn't seem to be really slowing the phone down, which is good to see. The Pro 3 also features a 16 megapixel camera sensor with optical image stabilization and an eight megapixel front facing sensor. Uh, here are some sample photos. It's, it's hard to determine the image quality based upon first impressions, but it looks promising. I would think that given the other high end specs, the camera quality would be uh, cut to bring the price down a bit. But let me know what you think of the image quality by leaving a comment down below.
There are stereo speakers also crammed inside this smartphone. The top call speaker is calibrated to also function as a main speaker, and there are bottom facing speakers as well, but only sound comes out of one of the speakers. The other one is just for aesthetic purposes, I suppose. The good news is that they sound great. A very crisp and clear sound is produced from these speakers. So for $400 off contract, the Leico Le Pro 3 has made a big impression. Sorry, I just feel like I gotta talk like in French or something. The least attractive feature appears to be the software in my opinion, but that could be pretty easily customized with various launchers and third-party apps. You gotta love Android for that. I'll leave links to check out this phone in the description and I'll see you back here on Phone Dog in due time for a full review. Thumbs up, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. Follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, whatever. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.